Now log in to the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Here enter the username and password and click the sign in button. Now from the left side menu, go to Things menu and here click the plus thing button from the top right. Now here we can rename the thing. Click here and click the rename button and give the name as Smart Environment Monitoring System. And click on the rename button. Now we need to add three variables. Here click the add button and add the first variable as temperature. And here select the variable type as float, floating point number and click the add variable button. Now click add button again and add the second variable which is humidity. And select the variable type as float and click on the add variable button. Now the third variable which is soil moisture, click the add button again and enter the variable soil moisture. And here select the variable type as integer and click add variable button. Now the three variables are added. Now we need to select the device. Click the select device button under associated device. Here select set up new device and select third party device. Here we are using ESP32 board. So select ESP32 and select the model as ESP32 DAO module. Now click continue. Here we can give any device name. You can give your name also. Click next. Here we need to copy this secret key and then select this checkbox and click the continue button. Now click done. Now we need to configure the network. Here you can see an option named set network. Click on that. Here click go to device page. Now here click the edit button. And here we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials. Wi-Fi username and password and paste the secret key which we copied. Now click go to sketch. Now here the basic program template is generated and now we need to add the logic. I have already wrote the program and I am copy pasting the code. So you can see the program, uh, uh, program link in the video description. Paste the program. So here we, we are using the DST library and connect, we need to connect the DST11 sensor to the pin number D2 and soil moisture pin to 34. And this is the code to get the temperature, humidity and the soil moisture. Now we need to upload the program. For that, connect your ESP32 board to your laptop. And click this upload button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now to check the output, we need to set up the dashboard. For that, go to this main menu and select the dashboard. Now here click the plus dashboard button on the top right of the page. Now rename the dashboard to Smart Environment Monitoring System. And click on the rename button. Now on the top right click edit. And here click the add. And add three gauge widgets. Click the gauge. And the first gauge is for temperature. Now click link variable button. Here select your thing which we created. So our thingy name is Smart Environment Monitoring System and link with the temperature variable. Click on the link variable button. And here the maximum value will be 100. If you want you can change this value. Now click done. Again click the add button and select gauge and the second uh, gauge is for humidity. Here also click the link variable button, select the thing and link with humidity variable. Click this link variable button and here also the maximum value is 100. Click done. Again click the add variable add button and click gauge and this is for soil moisture. Here click click link variable and link with the soil moisture variable. And here also click the link variable button 
and give the maximum value as 300. Click done. And again click the done button. Now the setup is completed. We can also check the output through the mobile. For that download the Arduino IoT cloud remote application from the play store. Install the application. Now once you open the application, you can see the dashboard which we created in the Arduino IoT cloud website. Now click on the dashboard and from here you can check the output.